Some of the most interesting studies into near-death and out-of-body experiences were run by the Air Force, right? As airplanes got faster and faster and faster over the past 20 years, right, pilots kept flying themselves into G-lock, gravity-induced loss of consciousness, right? And they kept crashing. So a guy named James Winery was, was a guy kind of charged with solving this problem. And what he did is down in Texas, he spun like a thousand pilots in a giant centrifuge into G-lock, right? And as he was doing it, he noticed something interesting. G-lock means you pass out. And if you've experienced it, what actually happens is your vision forms into a tunnel. It looks like, it, if, you're, if you're watching it, it looks like an old television set turning off where it goes down into one point and then disappears, right? So it looks experientially a lot like you're walking down a long dark tunnel, which is kind of one of the classic near-death experience uh, phenomenon. What he discovered along the way is that as he started spinning people towards G-lock, kind of the longer he spun them, people started reporting out-of-body experiences. And after they were out of their body, if he kept spinning them, it would turn into a near-death experience, right? So he's the person, the U.S. Air Force is the person, you know, the U.S. Air Force discovered that out-of-body experiences and near-death experiences are actually on the same continuum. They're, they're part of the same chain of effect. And a lot of it has to do with the right temporal lobe. There's other things going on as well. And there are, of course, certain mysteries, right? There are unsolved things and near-death experiences. We've got lots and lots and lots of research that shows people report things when they were supposedly dead that they should not have known about at all. So there are people who died on operating tables, right, in research studies, came back, were brought back, they had near-death experiences, and while they were dead, the nurse would take their glasses off and put it in a drawer. And later, when everybody was running around looking around for their glasses, the person who was on the operating table at the time, the patient who was dead at the time, said, oh yeah, they're in the bottom drawer over there. And this is a Pim's bomb Lommel study that was actually done in the Netherlands. This is where that actually happened. But there's lots and lots of experiences like that. So somewhere along the line, information is getting through, right? We don't know that yet. That's still the mystery. But a lot of the other stuff, we understand the biology behind it now.